Hi there, and uh, welcome to Four Hundred Tanks on the uh, live news map. This is the uh, Italian T8 medium tank, the regular Tech Tree tank, the Pantera P44. P44 comes with a uh, three-shot auto reloader, which means that if you play it correctly, you can have up to three shots in your clip, um, and uh, that can be quite devastating. I've had this. Uh, tank for 11 games and this is my this is my 11th game in the tank um, we're pushing up along the east side of the map fundamentally I think if you win the east side of this map uh, then you win win the game it's not often that um, you lose a game by by winning on this side so I've pushed very hard into the dip here uh, to contest that and hoping that nobody else comes with us and see this um, WZ-1328, which is the uh, Tier 9 Chinese light tank. And I've hit him with two shots. And the other projector, which is the uh, the premium T-rate auto-reloading Italian tank, has come in here with me. So now the two of us have won the dip. And hopefully this uh, Type 61 will come in with us. So as you can see, I fired all three, and it's taken quite a while to reload. As you get backwards through the clip, so if you have one, it takes slightly longer. If you have two in the clip it takes less time to reload the third. And actually that makes it quite useful because you can choose whether just to fire one and then get a very quick reload or all three and hang around. So as expected an awful lot of the enemy team has come uh, down this flank um, and we're actually getting shots. Now what's happened here and as I haven't seen this very often on this map is a bit of impromptu team play between the Progetto 46 and uh, me and the Pantera and the Type 61. And what's actually happened is we've spread ourselves across this ridge here, which means that the uh, the enemy team uh, can't really focus in one direction. So they're constantly having to turn their turrets to avoid uh, getting uh, shot from one or other of the three of these uh, medium tanks that are here. So we're all just popping up. I've taken one hit so far, and that was the hit from the WZ-132. Uh, but after that, I've managed to uh, bounce shots from the... Uh, Swedish tier 8 medium tank, which is the UDS 1415, uh, and the uh, Ferdinand, which is on the other side of the tracks there. So all we're doing at the moment is popping up, taking a shot, popping up, taking a shot. We've hit the Ferdinand a couple of times. And to be fair, it doesn't actually matter if we bounce because the fact that we're here will stop those tanks uh, coming over the top of the hill. Uh, so we're just working our way through it. Uh, and you see the T28 prototypes had to turn his uh, turret to the side. So, so far I've had uh, side shots into the T54E1, which is a uh, tier 9 American auto loader. Um, the uh, T28 prototype, which is a tier 8 American turreted tank destroyer. Ferdinand, which is a tier 8. German tank destroyer and there's another one and I've actually just tracked him so I knew he'd fired I can go back up again but it, this bounces off the front of the uh, Ferdinand's bad bad aim for me and he's killed by the Type 61 so the Type 61's pushed up hard and the Progetto 46 just died to the T-54E1 so that still leaves two of us so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reposition into the dip where the uh, Progetto was and there's actually an LTTB pushed up the IS-3 pushed over and I was waiting for him to track him but um, I think the uh, Type 61 hit him first and then I was able to finish him off for my second kill of the game first kill being the WZ-132A so these guys are now pretty much penned in so I will now move over back towards the bridge this is a great spot because you can you know, hook up uh, and I see the uh, Carnarvon popping up over the ridge so to put one shot into the uh, T-28 prototype Two left in the canister, one bounces off the side of the T-5041. I can see the T-28 prototype has turned his um, armour towards me, so I choose not to shoot him, but should choose to shoot the side of the T-54E1. So that still leaves uh, four tanks down there. Um, Carnarvon. No, three, my mistake. Carnarvon, T-54E1 and the T-28 prototype, so I'm going to pop up and see if I can kill the T-28. No. A side shot on the uh, 54E1, he gets killed and finished off. And next, what happen is the LTTB will go full beans and finish off the uh, T28 prototype. Just put one into the Carnarvon and finish the Carnarvon off. 
So all that leaves now is the uh, UDES 1415 uh, languishing in the background. I, I don't think we're going to be able to push up fast enough. I don't have the top engine on this 1000 horsepower engine. Um, not that that would have got me there in time for us to win the game. So that's um, a good win in this tank uh, and actually turns out uh, to be uh, the ace tank. So let's take a quick look at the end plates on this one, um, which is a pretty good result. 54,000 credits, 10,000 experience, although most of that was uh, 4,000 relating to a mission and the uh, the daily premium experience bonus. Next, we'll have a look at the uh, where we finished up in the team. So that was uh, top on damage and top on XP. So 3,564 damage overall, 1,358 base XP, which is a good result. Um, pretty much an easy win for us in a very short time frame. Uh, the um, accuracy of the gun showing. So from 23 shots, I hit uh, 22 and penetrated 17, which is fair enough because I wasn't aiming on an awful lot of those ones. Uh, we took um, four hits, only one of which actually penetrated us, and the other three bounced. Uh, managed to block just over a thousand um, hit points in armor. Spotted three vehicles, uh, damaged seven, killed three, which is not a bad result, and then assisted a thousand and forty-eight. Uh, actually, only travelled just one point something kilometers. Uh, it was a very quick game, five minutes and eleven seconds. Uh, we made overall fifty-four thousand on that one, and gave us a profit of. 38,552 because um, it didn't fire any premium ammo. And then the premium reserve stocks got added to uh, 5,400. Uh, so the uh, base experience of 1,300 plus the uh, premium bonus takes it up to just over 2,000. Um, and then there was a reward, which looks like uh, another two times on top of that uh, to give us a total of 6,100. And then there was another two times on top of that, which takes it up over the 10,000. So overall, not a bad game in the... Uh, P44 Pantera. Just a quick one, I do uh, stream on Twitch um, most nights. Um, that's uh, www.twitch.tv slash Lomian underscore EU, same name as is in game. You can also join me in my Discord channel if you just type in uh, Bang Discord into the um, uh, chat on Twitch, you, uh, you'll be able to join me there. Um, I do play with uh, Twitch followers, I don't have many, but I will do. Um, and there's normally spaces in a platoon with me and some of my clan mates. So thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you on stream. Um, and the next time I have another good game, I'll be posting up a video. Bye now.